Hey guys, I just want to take a quick minute and apologize for the horrible video you're about ready to see. Um, I was a little nervous when I did this video. I was going to look at a few houses and I didn't know how the real estate agent was going to react to me recording it. Also, I was using a new uh, mini tripod and I didn't realize it was loose. And the audio is horrible because I had my mic hooked up to my cell phone and I didn't realize how sensitive the mic was with this cell phone. I know it sounds weird, but mics act differently with different cameras and phones. But with all that said, hope you still enjoy the video. Okay guys, I'm in Indiana looking at some houses today. Um, if you're wondering why Indiana, well it's going to be for a different video. But I just wanted to touch base with you, um, let you know I'm still looking at some houses. This one's currently occupied. Um, it does have neighbors around it. I think you can see one of the neighbors in the background right around in here. But we're going to go ahead, head in here, and take a look. If you want to learn more about this house and the other ones, I'll be right back. Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Um, like I said, I'm looking at a few houses today in Indiana. I do have Blue Dog with me. Right there he is. I'm not taking him in the house, though. Uh, people live here presently, so I'm going to keep him out there, conditioners on. Let's go ahead, head inside, and take a look. Okay. Well, I don't know what that light switch goes to. But I don't know what that light switch goes to, but I ain't doing nothing. Okay, Here, here's the first house. Bedroom. Like I said, somebody's living here right now. That light switch works. bathroom hey kitty little office I guess this is a bedroom something doesn't feel right about the floor you know what I'm saying yeah. it says there's a single wide built onto it Another bedroom. Wind is kind of frosted. Closet with a dresser in front of it. I went on the floor around this corner. I guess it's the living room, sunken living room, dining room. Somebody, somebody like Santa Claus. There's a town close by named Santa Claus. Small kitchen. Another cat. Hello, kitty. Are you the same cat as she when I walked in? Oh, I used to be skylights, so the way it looks. And it looks like a patio made into a bedroom. Okay, guys, house number two. We came in the back door, which first room I came to was the bedroom or one of the bedrooms ceiling fan I don't know what's behind door number two Let's take a look 
water heater. Ceilings are low. I can actually touch the ceilings. Another bedroom, smaller bedroom, I guess. No closet. Come around here. Bathroom. It only has one bathroom. Now this reminds me of a buddy's house of mine, which again touched ceilings. Um, he had an old farmhouse I helped work on. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Closet, a little linen closet or something. Refrigerator. Real small kitchen. Now this has cathedral ceilings. As you can see, I can't touch the ceiling. I'm gonna say it's about eight foot high in the center. Front door. Now here's here's a spare room. I don't know where the light switch is, guys. Oh, it's over here. Now, this is something I don't get. This way they did the ceiling. Looks like it was an enclosed. Well, it looks like it was a porch and they enclosed it. To be honest with you. That's a little loose. But it doesn't smell musty. Like when stuff gets wet. It's new flooring. I can feel that. Yeah, I'm guessing this was like like a patio at one time. They enclosed. They make a nice living room. I don't like where the light switches though. Walk over here. Window unit. Another bedroom. Something's kind of weird. What are you thinking of this one? I'm liking this one. The, oh, I'm talking to the real estate guy. I, I edited him out of the video. He don't need to see him. He doesn't want to be on camera. But let's walk out back and take a look at the yard. What's that? <laughs> now, did this all comes, all the appliances come with it? Yeah, all the appliances come with it. Uh, yep. We got a nice little patio here, or back porch. But it has a big piece of land. Now, I know some of you let me tell stories about being on my uncle's farm. But his actual house area was kind of like this. I mean, granted, the farm the farm was a lot bigger than this, but this is what he basically kept mowed down for uh, his backyard. If you look around, there ain't a lot of neighbors. But the property line is like right here, there's a fence. I don't know if you can see there's a wire fence going around. It's like, it's close to three acres. And there's supposed to be a brook back here somewhere. But the property has, has these woods too. Now you've seen some of the videos of me being outside in my backyard. Big open field and have woods by my house. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Yeah, there's a brook, but looks like it's kind of dry. Looks like they might have had like some kind of gate up for catch the fish, but the brook's completely dry.
Now I know I'm stomping on the ground, but I'm trying to make sure I don't get in poison ivy. But the property goes the whole way over where that tree line is. Okay. You can see the outside of the house. It actually has a new roof on it. Walk over here to the shed. Needs a new roof on it. If I bought it, I'd probably just end up tearing it down. A little work there, it looks like. Probably just tear this down. And, uh, get a shed. But like I said, all the property goes over there. Okay, there's no third house because when we got there, the real estate agent got a message saying our request to view the house was declined because the owner couldn't get the dogs out of the house or the dog out of the house. So we weren't allowed to go in. Um, in the first house, as I was heading back to the campground and calling it a night, I got a message from the real estate agent that the house had an offer on it, which I, I was surprised because of the condition it was in, but so be it. There's always going to be more houses coming up, and I did like the area that I was in. There's going to be a video of that in the future, too. So, uh, I thank you for watching. I'm sorry the video was so horrible, but I do appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, check out my store, and as always, thank you for watching.